What's going on guys? We are back in Louisiana, back from Tennessee, and today we're going to be looking for some snakes. That's one of my favorite things about Louisiana, is we just have a boatload of snakes here. So that's what we're going to be looking for today. Let's go. We've got two speckled pink snakes right here. Yes! Check that out! That is two gorgeous speckled king snakes. What are y'all doing in the road, silly? Look at them. These guys are big, big speckled king snakes. Now, speckled king snakes are our local species of king snake here in Louisiana. Technically, they can get bigger, but these would be considered too mature speckled king snakes. Not sure if they're male or female or not, but normally when I catch bigger ones, they tend to be female, so I would guess that these are females. Gorgeous, gorgeous snake, and they have that speckled coloration for camouflage. They're a species of swamp king snake, meaning they live mostly in the swamp, and that speckling helps them camouflage with all the different uh, seaweeds and all the different grasses that we have here in Louisiana. I absolutely love speckled king snakes. Some of my earliest memories of catching snakes when I was really young were with speckled king snakes. When I was little, probably like five or six, I'd go in the yard and sometimes catch them, and I remember they were so big, you know, they were like four foot king snakes. And they'd be bigger than me. I'd have to hold them all the way up and they'd look bigger than me because I was so little. But they're an absolutely gorgeous species of snake. And it can be pretty hit or miss whether you get a friendly one or if you get a very mean one. But these both are very well behaved. Look at that. They're just tongue flicking. They didn't, they, one of them hissed at me when I first grabbed them. But other than that, they haven't tried to bite me or musk on me at all. Perfectly claw them. Once they realize that you're not out to hurt them, a lot of snakes will chill out pretty quickly and uh, you know you have to be gentle with them to make sure that they're not going to be upset with you. One of them's in shed right now. This one right here is about to shed and uh, this one's not. This one's perfectly perfectly clear coloration whereas this one's got that kind of light glossy color because he's about to shed. Now king snakes are called king snakes because they eat other species of snakes. See normally when a snake has king in its name it means it eats other snakes. They got the king snake over here and there's king cobras and uh, even over in Australia, there's the king brown snake. And all those snakes eat other species of snakes. This one right here is being pretty active, whereas this one's kind of just coiling up on my hand. Now, you never want to just run up and grab a speckled colored snake without really identifying that it's a speckled king snake. And you may be wondering, well, what other snake would have that speckled coloration? When snakes come out of the seaweed, they'll get covered in all these little seaweeds and they'll look like they have a speckling. Funny story, my dad, when he was younger, was out looking for snakes and he saw a speckled snake. He's like, oh, that's got to be a king snake. He ran up and he grabbed it and it was actually a water moccasin covered in the speckling and it looked just like a speckled king snake at first. And uh, he instantly realized and he let it go. Thankfully, it didn't get a hold of him, but it was it, to this day one of the only moccasins he ever truly grabbed as if it was a non-venomous snake because uh, he thought it was a speckled king snake, which is pretty funny. So you never want to just run up and grab a speckled snake thinking that it's going to be a speckled king. We don't get chain or eastern kings here in this part of Louisiana. All we get is speckled kings, milk snakes, and occasionally a scarlet king snake. But these are our most common species of king snake here in Louisiana. They're really good swimmers. In fact, everything back here right now, if you look right here, it's all flooded. And they'd be really good swimmers, and they'd be out here hunting for water snakes, maybe little rats, mice, and maybe even a water moccasin. They're really good to keep on your property if you don't want venomous snakes around because these guys will eat venomous snakes. What they do is constrict them and they asphyxiate their prey. They'll even asphyxiate another snake, meaning they'll squeeze the air out of the other snake and uh, they won't be able to get enough air in so they die and then the snake has its meal. And these guys are actually have a pretty good immunity to most snake venoms, especially water moccasins and rattlesnakes here in Louisiana like cane brakes. They have a good immunity to that venom to where if they ever get bit by them, they're not going to die from it. It'll still swell up a little bit but being as it's a very small animal, it's amazing that they can even survive that. So they've got a really strong immunity to that. Now these snakes, they're going to be laying their eggs soon. When spring comes up, probably, uh, I'd say sometime in May, they're going to be laying their eggs. If both of these guys are females, it's okay, it's okay. They hold them like this. They're getting a little bit rowdy because I've been holding them for quite a little bit now. Beautiful snakes. And uh, oftentimes you'll see these guys in the pet trade. A lot of people like to keep speckled king snakes as pets. There's a lot of breeders for them as well. A lot of people breed speckled king snakes, and they're just an absolutely gorgeous snake. And look at them. They're completely chill. They're not trying to bite me. They're not musking on me. And heck, that's, this one only hissed at me one time since we caught them. 
and they are just so well behaved. It's nice to catch some snakes that just don't want to kill you. They're just like, yeah, okay, this guy's going to pick me up and hold me for a little while, and uh, I'm in no danger at all. They pretty much figured that out, and they're just completely relaxed. Look at that. Completely friendly snake. Now, these speckled king snakes, I'd say three and a half to four feet each. Not the biggest one I've caught by far. I've ca definitely caught some big ones. Heck, we've even filmed a big one before. But these are both very nice sized speckled kings, bigger than most of them that I find. And it's amazing to find two of them right next to each other. Absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And I will see you guys next time. Alright, let's go. Let's see what guys go. Right?